Good evening folks, Alvis51 here, not been around for about a week so been doing my little boy's room so he's now got my YouTube room, six month years old and he's already taken over the place, but it's worth it. Anyway so for those of you who have been subscribed and followed my channel, thank you, I love you guys, uh, you've probably already seen this image towards the end of my video but many people on YouTube they'll skip over a video because they just think ah, I've seen that before move on to the next anomaly so I saw this image done by a few YouTubers here and it's Sol 1028 and it's the Curiosity Rover and it said little skeleton here and I thought you know what I'm going to look at this image for myself because there's a lot let's face it there's a lot of stuff that's been put out there that people will say you know there's uh michael jackson on mars or i don't know barack obama uh at you, you there's there's so many different things where people say you look there's a scotch egg there's a piece of bacon some a jar of peanuts on Mars. This one, I actually looked at and thought, it does look like a some sort of flattened fossil of some kind. Because I was always interested in fossils as a kid. And then I looked through the other soul images, and right across it, so this here, can you see this guy here? Can you see that? Because... I know I've done this video before, but there's so much stuff at the minute that's going out with these elongated skulls and different, this star child skull on Earth. And I just thought it's quite relevant at the moment. And there's a lot of um, these Mars images that people are just putting out any old shite at the moment. And I kind of think this one's not. I would say that because it's my find. Um, this here that I'm shaking about is not my find. So we'll put this down here. But this here looks so much like a skeleton. To me, it's unreal how much that looks like a skeleton. It looks like a weird skeleton, but it looks like a skeleton. And I think even these guys that don't like these kind of um, Mars anomaly videos, if you download the file for that, which I will leave again in the link, and I'll leave my previous video for this, you can't really look at that and say it's not a skeleton. Not when literally... Three, three doors down you've got this guy because this here above it right there is this and that is the head of that and I wanted to do it like this because I wanted to show you we all know what a skeleton looks like but you can see the collarbone here it's not exactly like our collarbone but it is a collarbone nevertheless there's some sort of breastplate there and then what I could only think is crushed. It could even be a Terminator. I didn't think of that, I've just thought of that just now. It could be a Terminator. Maybe Terminator was on Mars. Who knows? It's a good design. Why not Terminator on Mars? This image I've highlighted a bit because it was like that colour, so I've, I've changed the colour, adjusted it, it does highlight a little bit more, but I'll leave the original image, you can look at it for yourself, I've not done hardly anything with it. But what the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because I've been seeing a lot of these, uh, is it Nephilim? Nephilim? Skulls, um, which I th believe the mean of Nephilim is giant, there were giants on Earth. Um, the other mean is, I think, is fallen angel. Um, and these giants 
they took a fancy to uh, to human ladies and uh, they took their pick basically and um, had their um, little ones from that. This is how the story goes apparently. Which I have an image of this little guy here. Well, he's not so little, his head's massive. Um, but yeah, uh, found in Peru. And he, I mean, if you look at them eye sockets, I mean, I've never seen anything quite like that. And I'm not saying that it's alien. I'm not saying that this here, that I've got an image, is 100% a skeleton on Mars. It damn well looks like a skeleton to me. Um, but when you think about all these things that we're finding now, it's it's either one or the other. It's either they are right and it, it's fallen angels and all hell's going to break loose so if we don't all pull together or the, the earth has been studied for years and years and years, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years by extra, extraterrestrials, which is mainly my belief. Um, I'm, but why can't, and I asked this question to myself, why can't God and aliens be in the same universe, same galaxy, universe, whatever? It, it, to me, why would if you, if I was if you, if I was God, you know, here's a planet. I've made that one. Make another one. Make another one. I'll make another one. I'll make another one. I'll make another one. I'll make another one. You know, who's to know? Who's that? So, I mean, I don't see any reason why they can't exist in the same universe. I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here, um, but then I looked at this and I thought, if it is an alien. I've never seen an alien with ginger hair. I've got a ginger beard, but I've never seen an alien with like a... It almost looks like a toupee. Um, so, I mean, there's... You'll watch so many videos, probably not many like mine. I'm a little bit strange, I know that. I don't quite know what I'm believing. I do believe in aliens, by the way. I wouldn't be doing this otherwise. But I kind of... I look at everything. I look at the 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 religious side of all this stuff. I look at the alien stuff, and I look at the people who hate the Mars images um, that go out there. UFO proof does. I love his videos though. Um, maybe he'll take me about one day. That'd be nice. Um, but when I look at, in fact, I'll leave a link for one of his videos in the bottom because I'm nice like that he does a really good video explaining these kind of skulls and the different culture and it's got no mention of aliens in it even though it's titled aliens but it's it's very educational so one thing I will tell you about these heads is that if you didn't already know this tribes do this um, head bounding that's not a hat that is an actual, from, I think it's from birth, they put these little rings round to make it longer. And the idea that the ancient alien program thing, Majigma Bob, that one, yeah, um, have is that they did that to worship these beings. And they are aliens. But they thought they were gods. Maybe they were gods. Who knows? Who knows? My, my thoughts on it is that there was, um, and still is, beings visiting Earth. They've been on Mars because I've seen so many images on Mars myself that I look at, I've got loads that I haven't even put out there because I don't quite know what to do with them I don't know, some of them I've got to get more stuff compiled to actually explain the images that I'm putting out there but there's too much of this that doesn't make sense that it's got to be one or the other so everybody who's going down the religious route and everybody's going down the alien route 
we may come together at some point and uh, come to a conclusion. Until that day, keep checking out my videos, all this 51. Um, like and subscribe. Could do with some more subscribers, but thank you to the 90 that I have now. Um, I know I'm a little bit out there. Um, but yeah, this... This... Um, I love that gingerhead guy. This here is my little find that if it's not a skeleton, it's pretty convincing skeleton. I mean, I was going to say goodnight, but I kind of do this a lot. The only thing that puzzles me with it, if it was a skeleton, it kind of looks like it's got another head coming off, which then I go back to, yeah, it could be just a rock formation. But then it was next to that that somebody claimed were a skeleton. Maybe it is a skeleton, maybe it's a crushed crushed guy. Fossilised. But when I look at this one, I just see a skelly bob that's got a bit of his head coming off that way. No jaw. Or a Terminator. It'd be so cool if it was a Terminator. But yeah, anyway, good night, good night, good night, good night, God bless, and uh, mind the bug, don't bite. See you later.